Hi, I'm Steve Jackson from Imprintables Warehouse, and I want to thank you for taking a minute out for this week's training timeout. Have you ever wanted to increase the accuracy when you're running a print and cut device such as a Roland VersaCam? Well, this week we're going to take a look at some simple steps that you can do within VersaWorks, the RIP software that runs a VersaCam, and increase your accuracy on those print and cut operations. The accuracy of a Roland print and cut device is 0.04% times the distance traveled. Well, what does this really mean to us? It means that the accuracy can be off up to a quarter of an inch at around eight feet of distance traveled. Well, there's some simple things you can do to minimize that. You could minimize the length of your print and cut runs, which may or may not be plausible depending on what you're doing. If I'm doing a graphic for a large trailer or vehicle, I can't necessarily limit it down to a two or three foot run. If I'm doing graphics for a t-shirt or some other garment, I can do smaller runs where the accuracy won't be as critical. Or I can use VersaWorks, again the software that runs the VersaCam, to change some settings in there so that I can change the page size and allow it to print and then cut at the end of each page, therefore increasing my accuracy on the run. Let's take a look at the software and see how this is accomplished. Here we are in VersaWorks and you can see that I've got a decal that I'm going to be running and say for this job that I needed 60 of these. Um, so it's, it could be a quite a long run. Uh, let's open up the job here. I'll double click either on the uh, graphic over here. I can double click on the graphic in the middle there or I can go down to the settings right here for it. When I click on that it'll open up the settings dialog. I'll drag it over. I'm using a dual screen uh, dual monitor system here so it opened it up on the other monitor for me. I'll drag it over here so I can take a look at it and we can see that I've got it set up for six of them but I need to run 60 for this job. The graphic itself is a little over nine inches wide by 4.99 five inches tall right there and if I were to do 60 of this well the, the, the run the job itself would be quite long. As you can see now it's changed on the screen I've got all these in here and if I had it do all of those at once and then come back to cut it, well that's going to be much longer than eight feet. Um, my accuracy could be off significantly at that point and I would have a bunch of decals that would be unusable or unsellable. So what I can do instead is we'll take that back to six in my amount. I can look at this and see the height there is 4.99 so if I have two of them it's going to be 10 inches there. What I want to do is change on my size here instead of custom roll I'm going to drop it down and do custom cut, but before that I hit my get media width and it's read from the machine exactly how wide of an area I have to work with here. So I've got the media width. I'll copy that, that 28.46. So I'll hit control C to copy it. And now I'll change this over on the size and I'll go to custom cut. And when it goes to custom cut, it's changed the width and the height right there. I'll plug back in, I'll hit control V and there's my 28.46. I'm not going to hit the get media width. If I hit get media width, it goes back to custom roll. It's looking for a width and it knows it's on a roll of media. So we're not going to hit that one there. Again, we'll go back to custom cut. And I'll highlight the width there and paste that back in. And now on the height of it here, remember it was 4.99 there. And I've got a little bit of space in between tile spacing here of 0.15. So if I say 5 inches plus 5 inches plus the point 0.2 here for the tile spacing, I should be pretty good. So that would be 10.2. So we'll change the height here to 10.2. 10.2 and we'll see how that comes out. And look at that. I've got a page right there that fits both of these rows of decals here. And now I'll change this here on my, my copy. How many I'm doing? I'll do 60 of them. What we'll see is now the graphic, it has a set of six and then there's this gray area here, this space in between it. I've set a page length here. I've told VersaWorks that this is how big the page size is for the job that I'm doing. And since it sees that as a page size, what VersaWorks understands is at the end of a page or a run there, it should go back and do the cut functions for that. So what will happen in this instance here is if I send this to the printer, it would print six of these Family Fan Club logos uh, these decals and then it would go back and cut those six and then it would continue on to the second set right here and print six and then go back and cut them. 
And what this allows me to do is ultimately what we're looking for is increase the accuracy of the print and cut operation. So now I'm not going eight feet, six feet, four feet, whatever, and having my accuracy get off as it brings that huge run of of media back and then tries to cut the decals or the heat transfer media that it has at the beginning of the run and it's it's had all that distance that 0.04 percent times distance travel that we talked about at the beginning of this this tip um, and now it's off from there so if we change these settings like this it'll print six and then cut six and then go to the next next row or the the next set really the next page there uh, so you can see I've got them all down through here what this also allows me to do is that I can set up very long runs if I want to, hit start on this, hit the rip and then print operation on it, and walk away. I don't have to come back every time and hit print again and again. If I'd set it up to just do the six here, hit print and then come back to it, um, it allows me to just let it go on its own. So it's a, it's a very nice feature in here. Uh, I know a lot of shops that use this quite a bit, um, some that don't use it at all. So it really depends on the shop and what they're doing. But uh, there's the inside on VersaWorks. On this one, I would just hit OK. I've got it all set up. Of course, I would pick my quality and all the other settings I would for a normal job. But now we've got it set, all set for this print and cut operation, this, this run. So there you have it in VersaWorks. After looking at the software and seeing how we can change a couple settings in there, you can see how easy it is to increase the accuracy of your print and cut operations. You can also set up your operations this way so that you have almost an unattended workflow of print and cut operations that you can walk away from the machine and now you can get more stuff done in your shop, allowing for greater profits in the long run for you. If you want to find out more tips and tricks like this, visit thegarmentedge.com. You can also visit us at imprintables.com and you can call us at any time at 800 347 0068. Again, thanks for stopping by for this week's tips and tricks on the training timeout, and I hope to see you next week.